three day robot day one. Let's go. Hour, hour like, zero. This doesn't really involve us, but you need to do this and have all three robots pass the line to get that ranking point. So today went really well. We started off the day by learning about the game, and then after that we took each individual task that the robot had to do and categorized it. So that's being able to control one of the power cubes, being able to score it on either the swing or the scale, um, being able to climb, uh, so we took each one of those scoring me or scoring mechanisms or tasks for the robot to do and we categorized them. We had three different categories. We had the primary goals, the secondary goals, and our 10-foot pole goals, as we call them. Uh, our primary goals are the goals that we set as the goals that we absolutely know we're going to be able to do by the end of the three days. And if we don't, we are going to kick ourselves for not, uh, for not doing them. Uh, the secondary goals are the goals that we have that are will be nice if we'll be able to do and we will uh, if we have time to complete them we will but it, we won't block them out of our mind and the 10 foot pole goals are the goals that we would not touch with a 10 foot pole like the we, goals that we don't believe that we with our resources as a team and the uh, the materials that we have and the the access to manufacturing tools that we have, we just wouldn't be able to do. So we we blocked off, we categorized each of the, the different tasks the robot has to do and put them into those three goals. And then using that, we were able to focus on what goals we wanted to attach, have for for today versus the things we were gonna focus on a little bit later. Coming to the end of our first day, uh, I feel really comfortable about the progress we've made. We've pretty much got our drivetrain down packed and we decided that uh, we've made a couple decisions on our uh, end effector, uh, but not fully anything down packed and we'll do a little bit of the manufacturing and the finalizing ideas on day two, but I think we did a really good job today and I think that we made a lot of progress, we got to know each other as a team, and we were ready to tackle the challenges of the upcoming days. We have that lifter thing. Yeah. Now, once it gets in with the wheels, how you transport it up is a problem. Because mm -hmm. that's an extra thing. Yeah. You know? So, hopefully that's the only other part we have to worry about. That's it has to travel, make it 55, a little less. No, it has to travel. About 20 inches. 20, no, it would have to travel 20. 20 something, yeah. yeah. together the robot in one shot uh, with the frame. Uh, last year we had an issue about forgetting to put parts in before putting other ones in. And so you can see in the build video it's built up and then had to get torn back down, the parts put it correctly and then built up again. Uh, this year we were able to save ourselves a headache and we got it right on the first shot which saved us a lot of time. We got the teleop done so it was, uh, can be driven by the joysticks already. We didn't get the autonomous done but that wasn't on the list anyway. 
However, we did have the bumpers set and uh, actually installed in the robot, which is something we didn't end up doing last year. They saved uh, the bumpers by not doing them last year to save time, but we wanted to include them this year for a real aesthetic purpose, because in competition, you have the bumpers and they make up a big visual part of the robot. And we wanted our robot to reflect what an actual competition robot would really look like.